Hey Justice Crawls, welcome back everybody to Banished. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. If you do, as always, smash the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section just below this video. We just got home from Legoland. It's been an absolutely amazing vacation trip, whatnot. However, I got hay fever, you know, because of the season things like flowers, trees, grass, bushes and whatnot. So that kind of sucks. Every year, same thing. And also, I got a cold from all those German kids in Legoland. Not German, not German kids. Well, maybe some German kids as well, but Germans in general are just amazing, all right? So don't get me wrong. So if I sound strange today, it's mainly because of that, because I don't have a voice, because I get cold and stuff, and I can't really see much because of the, the, the heavy view, my eyes are all blurry. So previously, we started off this city, okay, and I love it. I read it through the comment section and you guys like seem to enjoy like the layout and buildings and whatnot, so I think we're gonna keep them. However, I don't want to do two episodes in a row just doing a city. So today I want to expand to this area, maybe make some plantations, uh, mainly for tobacco, maybe some hemp and whatnot. <laughs> you never know, but to do stuff like that, to look amazing, right? Because look at that. I saw, I saw, no, not this one. Uh, is it this one? Yes. That would look so awesome, uh, just having the plantations. But for that we need fancy homewares, I think. And this guy over here, um, hereabouts. He can't really do that because what he needs is fancy furniture and fancy furniture is made out of hardwood so we need to maybe adjust one of those guys over here to just be a hardwood guy. You know, that sounds wrong but a hardwood guy? Yeah it doesn't matter you know. So I think one of those is gonna be adjusted because we do have plenty of logs for the moment and I think we're pretty good with the logs for, uh, at, the, at the stage. But this area however I've been talking for like two minutes now, I'm sorry. This area, however, is killing me on the inside. I don't want to see, I don't want to do two episodes in a row doing this area, but I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna finish this area as much as I can, and then I'm gonna be like, hey, look at this, and it's done, okay? And then we're gonna continue the plantations and whatnot, so everybody, look at this now, look at this now. Let me just hide this menu, look at this now, look at this now. I'm loving it, look at this now. Now it looks completed. Well, almost. You know what? Like, there's bits and pieces which are like not super ideal. The lag is unbearable, and I just guess it's a lot of those models and some ghost blocks. I'm sorry, I had to use them because it's just to make stuff pretty. So what I did, I squeezed in. As you can see, there's like little nice squares of stuff in between. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is this the governor's office. And what this guy does, he's bringing silver fennings, which makes. Which makes us possible to trade, I think? No, gold gilder? No, silver fanning, so we can buy ropes, for example, leather full coats, or onions, everybody loves onions. Tea, no, 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 no Brits here, no. So, uh, I, I'm really liking it. Like, there's, there's bits and pieces which are like not ideal. For example, this boat yard, I mean, why? I just know. I, I think it looks kind of cool as a building in, in, in hole, so we can squeeze that down in here. This building over here is the native trader. And what this guy does, I don't know. I think he trades, trades uh, like four iron tools and a crate for some leather, for example. N not too shabby, I guess. Free pipe tobaccos for chilies, leather for muskets and crates. Pultis, I don't know what that is, but I'm not gonna be using him. But for future references, kind of cool. I'm wondering, however, if there's a boat coming for this guy or a trader comes by, or is this just maybe just a static building just looking pretty? We just don't know. However, those towers, I'm loving it. Let me just zoom in on one of those towers. This is actually a journeyman tower, which is supposed to be next to the house, I think, the journeyman house. But it looks incredible. It acts like a house. And it just fits the theme of here. We, however, just only have, there's a lot of howevers, all right? We just have one bridge over it. So that kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, also, the church is placed here. A little bit unnecessary, because it just has 10 members since this does the same thing the courthouse it acts like a church so i'm like yeah no yeah no and i think this is the fifth church in the community people still like loving the community and everything is pretty pretty darn good also squeeze in a little graveyard might not be the best idea but i kind of like oh what to do with the space more housing no just just have another empty space with some graves people love graves i guess with them the boost their happiness and whatnot so let's just have it here so that is about it also the trade building is back uh, previously it was about here uh, when we build the wall, now it's just here. Not the ideal one, but it's humongous. And it stores a lot of crap inside of it, so I'm pretty much happy about it. 
You guys would have to let me know if you like it or not, but I'm I'm loving it. There's a lot of bushes. As you can see, there's ghost blocks. Everything is nicely tidy, connected together. So now, when this is up and running, let's just go over here. So one of those guys, I did not do that yet, which might be a little bit why I did not do that. I'm idiota. Let's demolish, I guess, one of those. And hmm, I'm thinking, like, do we really need to have a hardwood guy? Oh, no, 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 no. Reclaim this building. Uh, people move in again. This one is bi bigger. Uh, where was it? Hardwood? Bamboo? Forester? Pines? No? What the crap did I see? Here it is. It's a little tower of some type. And not too shabby, not too shabby. I don't want to really interfere with those that production over here. So where the hell do we put it down? What you guys over here? You guys, are you guys fine with having like a hardwood guy over here? You know what? They better be. Because I've been looking at the map and there's nothing like, nah. Let's just have it here. So let me just see. Ring of fire should be about here. Poop it down no regrets and then just extend this little road out of soil and now hopefully it's gonna take a while until it gets like here because need to chop down all those trees over here and then it gets get into the hardwood production i guess so it's definitely gonna take a while until it's like fully up and running and stuff but let's not forget about that now the moment i have been waiting for well not really let's do let's see here where do we have we can make a road over here so let's make a little area for all the like plantations and whatnot and cover bridges because they are pretty darn amazing one on that side one on that side that should be a covered bridge and let's just extend this road further out to about here there we go and let's just extend let's extend this out by maybe 40 tiles that direction and how about here? Can we do... Hmm, I'm not really sure how the bridge is going to be coming, but I guess it's going to be coming... That's the first road piece and about 40 tiles that direction. Just to keep it even. 39 and 40. And now the problem is, we're not going to be able to see anything. Which is going to suck a little bit. We could maybe... Let me see here. By the way, before we do anything else, what is... Tobacco? That's going to be... That's dry goods, right? Wasn't there like a dry goods barn? Key, dry goods, uh, dry goods barn thingy. Ugh. I guess it would work. Put it down, no questions to be asked. Depends where the bridge is going to be coming, but let's just put it down over here. Plantations. I guess the ideal would be still 11 11, maybe? Nah. Let's just do. Hmm. Let's do. 15, 8, I think it's quite ideal for one person at a time. So inside of here, they're going to be chopping down. Oh my god, it's going to take like 50 forever. But oh, this is, should we just terraform? Yeah, you know what? I, I don't. I, I have wood. I've got wood. I don't. No time to waste. Let me see. Where can I. From here to about here. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I know people are going to be upset. Like, oh my god, it's all my trees. But hey. They are my trees. They are my trees. And now they are pretty much gone. Plantation. Numero dos. So 815. 815 or 15 over 8 or something. I kind of want to remove this though. Because I know. Let me just see. If I would remove this guy. There are some some type of bars for this, for this tobacco thingy. Is it this one? Pub kitchen? No. Curing barns. This is where tobacco is air uh, curd, uh, curried, uh, I don't know, into pipe tobacco for smoking. Finished products must be stored uh, at an inn, in a garden, tavern, or a still for consumption. Oh, we don't really have plenty of those. Now, do we? Do we just put it down? One on this side, one on that side, have something nice in between and whatnot, and then have some streets. That's gonna be pretty legit, I think. Or maybe even this, like that. Then have like a big, big, big square here of some type. You know what? Trial and error, people. We can do this. And yes, it is lagging a little bit. So you know, as you can see here, this duck is actually flying in realistic speeds. However, it is it's, it's lagging. This is not going to be too shabby. I think this is gonna work out pretty nice. And then we can have some plantation houses and whatnot. Those, those, you know, those I, I showed you. 
Got some bushes here in between and whatnot. Have a nice little bush square over here. We can actually just fill that space in. No! Dang it, dang, dang, dang. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, I do have fever, so it pretty much sucks doing, doing this, but... I miss playing video games. I mean, what to do, what to do. That is 19. Which means eight, each of them can be 9 in width. Okay, so if it's 16, the road, right? So that's 15. So each of them is just gonna be for 7? 7 and 15? What was that? Was that a plantation? Yeah, plantation. And one more here. 15. 7, 15. It's not ideal, like, when it comes to the, to the sizes of the farms, uh, which we're doing over here. No, 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 no. But... Uh, just want to keep some variation going. I still kind of maintain, like, the maximum output, which is... This is not going to do it. This is not going to cut it whatsoever. But we're going to do our best. Then we can have a, a few smaller ones over here. Like, for example, we could have... Let me see. If I would put up the road from this to this... What is the space in between those roads? 24. 24, which means 12 in width, right? Um, plantation. Yeah, 24. So we could go 24 farms and have like ginormous ones or have smaller ones. 624, not ideal, but it's gonna work out. 624 on this one as well. Like this. Man, this is gonna be really nice. And then I have some housing over here. Hmm. I mean, look at it. It is coming along. So we added some bushes. They're just chopping down stuff. And we do have a little trader. And this is the guy I like. So let's see here. What do you got to uh, to trade? To sell? Coffee? I don't think we have coffee yet. Hmm. Quincy's barley blackberry. Lettuce. Beans. Pumpkin. No. I guess I'm going to go for some coffee. Let's get a coffee seed from this guy. What is kale even? Apricot. That does grow on trees? Yeah, I think so. Cabbage? Hmm, I don't think we have cabbage. Oh, sneeze. So let's see here. We need 8,000 units. And you know, pretty much we have 800 leather. It would be a shame wasting it. We also get, get 100 hull uh, components, but let's just go easy on ourselves and then just trade all the leather we've got from this guy. Perfect. Dude, you dismiss. Yeah, we, what we need to do is get some orchards going because orchards like if you like into like the jungle theme and just having like like those bushes all the way around the jungle just makes up for it i kind of thought those vines would be a little bit bigger than they are but i guess they're not like if you just compare the, the, the person size to the vine it makes perfect legit sense hmm yeah grapes are grapes i guess grapes are grapes Looks pretty nice, that that is for sure. This is still operational. We also need to add more of those fishes, guys. Because they do produce quite a bit. And having one here or one here as well, that's going to mean about 10k in food just for from four fishermen. However, it's 16 people just wasted to that. Is everybody driving over here? Everybody in the city? There's not much more. There's, there's not much people around. Problem with this is that a lot of people live here, but they have far away to walk uh, until they reach their jobs and stuff. We could make this operational as well. This one has a guy. Zero patience, however. This is not operational, but let's just keep it that way. The brewery. We don't really have, like, we could make something, but I don't think, like, mead from honey, that would be kind of sweet, <laughs> because it's honey, honey, honey is sweet, right? But, yeah, we can't do it because we don't have any honey production yet, we need to get into those beekeepers, peaches, pears, 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 we bought pears in a previous episode, didn't we? Might get into that. Yeah, for the moment, let's just, let's just close this facility down. This guy, is this operational even? No. Let's just keep it down as well. <laughs> I love it. By the way, how many people do we have in here? If I add one more... Okay, that's going to be too many. So we have 28 tra traders in total all over that, or that overall place. How's our Horwood guy going, coming along? Is it this being built? Here? Nope. They're just missing some stone. We do have stone, so please do carry. That's ASAP. And this... Well, it's going to take a while. Oh, the bridge is, the bridge is completed. Oh yeah, 
that is a win-win scenario. Look at the road. Perfect squeeze on this side. Perfect squeeze on that side. Key barn. Just need some stone and lumber. All right. I'm just going to wait here. As much as I love bushes, when winter comes, it's pretty nice because you can see stuff, all right? So as you can see here, this little road is not perfect. They just extended by Uno, Uno Tile. Also, as you can see, the house over here. So I've added one extra plantation here because the house itself would be... Let me see here. If I put it down here, that's going to interfere one on that side, one on that plantation. So it would be just in the middle here. Man, that would look so nice, but hardwood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Let's just do like eight, nine. About here. That should do it, right? Put it down. No regrets. Still have some space to spare. We could add one extra plantation. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many plantations here, but I'm gonna love it. I am gonna love it. Could we also add a few plantations? This episode is gonna be all about plantations and stuff. Let me see here. If I add this here like that, it's gonna be like the smallest farm ever. Six by six. Or we could just go like this. 18 on six and have this as a little plan a hemp plantation of some type. Because what I want to do is have this in the middle and then surround this whole thing with just uh, plantations and whatnot. But man, yeah. This is becoming like the previous season already, and we're just episode 15 or something. It is the lag. And I don't... Um, let me see, how many people do we get? I need to pause in between like the, the, the movement in between places. How many people do we have? We have 360 only. 99 cloth, 99 educated. Children, 68. Students, 54. Oh my god, come on, guys. Get out of school and work instead. And there's still, like... I've been playing this with this guy for quite a bit of time. And up to this point, there has not been a single nomad arriving. So I'm not really sure that this guy even accepts nomads. Like, it, it should, because it is a city hall, right? But the, the old ones we had in the previous season, like every single episode, there was nomads just, just venturing our lands and coming to, to stay. Mm -mm, not this season, that's for sure. Man, look how snazzy they look. So I guess we could do this. We can have... Do we have enough people for this? We will soon as they graduate, I guess. But two in this guy and two in that. And you're going to be making, well, the only one thing you can make. That is pipe tobacco. And here we're going to have... Uh, tobacco? Tobacco? Tobacco leaves. Tobacco. It would be kind of cool having just some hemp here in between as well. I know it not, might not be the greatest idea, but having those three as hemp just in front of the plantation house, that would look pretty darn amazing. Also, this house needs the back garden, because this is just going to be like a big house, just surrounded with bushes and trees and whatnot. So the ideal thing here would be just to remove, let me see, where's the road ending? It ends about here. So let's remove this, let's remove that. And let's make some farms. And who is this guy? It is the food guy. We... Hmm, do we need food? No. It is getting lower and lower, however. Like, I've been up to like 85k. Now it's like peaking at 67, 65. 68 now though, so I guess that is a peak. But... Damn, it's gonna be a big, big garden behind this house. But it is this for the greater good. It is for the greater good. So let's just remove it. Let's remove those guys over here. There we go. And then make a road. Soil road. So from here, you're going to be going all the way. And connecting with... Where is it? That is the plantation still, right? Plantation? No plantation. About here. It's going to look a little bit crap because it's going to be like super symmetrical and whatnot. But... Uh, nah, it's not. Because this farm is over here now. We're going to have some farm extending that direction. However, I do want to have... Just some in-betweeners like this, for example. And then have a big jungle here in between. Perfect. And we just need to figure out where we're going to have the housing. Because this is not going to hold many people now, is it? But we still need the fancy homewares. By the way, is my hardwood guy done yet? He is. In the jungle. In the jungle. The mighty jungle. Let's have 20. And that's going to be cut and plant. And that goes to the... Huh. Materials depot. Oh, I see. I see. Hi, buddy. What you got? 
Do you by any chance have any fancy silverware, but fancy homewares? That would be quite quite the thing. Even hardwood would be not too shabby. Bronze statues, pearls. Bronze statue? 270? G statue? 240? Gemstone rough? Dismiss, buddy. Dismiss. You guys are thriving here. I do love like those barges. I, like I was, I was trying to squeeze in like those big ships, but it wouldn't really like be realistic because of the bridge size. It's still not because it's gonna be a super tight squeeze, but at least it doesn't have any sails on it, and that way it looks quite purdy. I'm wondering how much the smoke does to the FPS some, uh, situation. Man, I like this place so much. I didn't think I would like those buildings that much, but uh, I do. I do. How can you, being 15, affording this house? Doesn't make any sense. A child? B b b seven years old? Where's your parents? Did they die? Oh, they might have died. Okay, I'm sorry. But off to the orphanage you go. How does this work? How does a seven-year-old child live by, him, by, by, by himself? I guess his parents died. Are they buried here, child? Can, can we see graves of people? No, I guess we can't. Well, it doesn't matter. So I'm thinking about housing, but first is first, this guy. Who is you and do you have any fancy homewares? No, coconuts, sugarcane, that is not gonna help me much. So you be gone, but I've been thinking about this. We could have some housing, but hmm. Like, this, this looks like this, right? I don't think there's anything even remotely close to looking nice. Well, this, but nah, it doesn't really fit the theme whatsoever. Town lodging, row houses, we've, we've seen those. Colonial houses, I guess it would make a little bit of sense having them, but no. No. No, they're just too, too, too colorful and too bright. Those over here, however, yeah. Not a big fan. I tell you that. That can't change color. This one can. Do they have like... Let me see here. Okay, they do have like curved po uh, parts and whatnot. Man, this is a tough cookie to crack down on. Because what I want to do is just add my normal houses. Because I don't think they look nice. All right, I take it back. They kind of look nice, all right? Like, if you spread them out, rotate them, move them, and even add those... This kind of, like, reminds me of a Dutch uh, Dutch colonial barn, doesn't it? Or colonial house. I guess we could even add that on the other side, and that would be, like, a super proper thingy. So I've done this, and this looks really nice. However, I did remove this hemp field in the middle and have some housing leading up to this house, which I moved back, but... Uh, Guys, I've been waiting for quite a bit of time to get this production up. So far, we have two hardwood, and don't I, don't ask me how we obtained them. I have no idea, right? He has not produced any fancy furniture whatsoever. So that means that this guy will require a few extra season seasons just to be operational. That sucks so bad. And if I just check here for, because I mean. Hardwood. We should have some hardwood within like the forest itself, but we don't because this guy has zero hardwood. Ha ja 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 ja. We do have tons of clay and crayfish. That's not gonna help us. Man, that sucks so much because I wanted, I really wanted to have this up and running today. But but I've been recording this for quite a bit of time now, and I can't be bothered anymore. Like waiting for this guy to be to be done. This, by the way. I've added some coffee plantations over here on an orchard. Ew, not ideal, not ideal. Should bring that back. So let me just see here. How big is this orchard? It is 10 tiles in total. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? Yes. You see, this bush should be here, right? Just to make it look nice and symmetrical. Well, it doesn't have to be, but just to be optimized, all right? We need to demolish them. We are gonna demolish them. Uh, let me just see. Whereabouts is it? Do I need to go into this menu? There we go. No. Mm -mm -mm. Just go like this. Remove this. Remove that. Move this 
soil road closer like this and then maybe even remove that and have a little bit of jungle in between you know me and jungles yeah just a little like patch actually two two tires would be quite nice there we go that goes in here and now and now and then and then we're gonna place this orchard can you see how nice it's gonna look bam and this what do we need to remove what tree what the crap are you talking about oh are those bushes counting to the to the removal 60 bushes are you kidding me? I didn't know that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I didn't know that. Didn't know that whatsoever. I kind of thought we could just do that and be all happy about it, but I guess not. So we need to remove those bushes, this coffee bushes here as well. Crap, just wasted a season on coffee. No coffee. People are like super like tired and stuff. And they're just like, hey, hey, we need coffee. And I'm like, no coffee. No coffee for you. No coffee for you, my friends. However, you know what I've been thinking about? Let me just hear. Coffee. And Coffee Anan. Where is this guy now? Coffee Anan. Haven't heard his name for quite a bit of time. Let me see here. There's coffee, free workers, free coffee. Well, not free coffee. Coffee. There's one person homeless as well. What the crap? What the crap? Yeah. However, what I've been thinking about is what do we do? Not with the drunken sailor, but just with the fencing around it. Because usually I place fencing around like farms and orchards I do quite like it's not done okay it's not done but let's just pretend it's up and running should we use let me see here if I go ghost fencing and this white picket fence do we have a gate which is two in width that should be centered like that hmm yeah it's gonna leave a little gap however it's a ghost fence right so when they build that up we can have bushes still around it. Let me see here. And that should be coming here. And that should be coming here. Yeah, I'm thinking about, about those. If that's going to look nice or not. Because we could surround that with the white picket fence. And then have some bushes all the way around. That would be quite legit, I think. Yeah, you guys fix fix that. I'm gonna add some jungle and bushes and trees and whatnot. Like having tr ghost trees in orchards like that. I don't think because it doesn't interfere with the production. I think, and it just adds because otherwise, like, let me see here. I don't think we've got them. You like here, for example. See how bland that looks. So f if we just would add, let me see here. That is this. No, 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 no. I'm using the same trees because I like them. Can even have that in the middle of everything if wanted that is it is however going to interfere like as you see that the, the crops go stick out a little bit for, through it and stuff but do we even care about stuff like that no we don't well we do but uh, hey not in this in this occasion right hey hardwood guy how are we doing over here two man that sucks so bad you know what I think this crate is, what this lady just picked up? I think that is a domesticated animal. Don't, I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think that is a domesticated animal. And how? I just don't know. They just ca capture them, I guess, and then uh, people pick them up. I oh, that, you know what? That might be this guy. Do you think his range is that ginormous? This wild shepherd? Oh. Uh, that would be... That is quite cool. How much did we do for 14? The Mystic MLs previous season. Yeah, we need to get this this upper running as well, like better. Improve that a little bit. Okay, that's two minor. There we go. 11 of those guys, I guess. How are we doing on this, by the way? I haven't checked you. Let me just slow this down. God dang it, the lag. 216 eggs previous season. To 138. And how about you, dearie? Diary, dear diarrhea, dear diarrhea has produced cream cheese and butter. Previous season, 180, 48, and 120. It's not, it's not good. Like it's not like comparing to like for example those rice planter guys, 1500. I mean, that is like that is how much a fisherman gets. Well, not really. They get two and a half, but on four people, this is one rice guy getting 1400. Yeah, you see? 
getting a few extra of those. Maybe we can get some rice wine production in. Not too shabby, not too shabby. God dang it, I love this place. Not really sure why I made like uh, stockpiles in, in the city, but uh, well, it kind of looks nice, I guess. What do we? Is that fancy furniture? No, that is just furniture. All right. Keep on going. We have one here, which is just lumber, I guess. Man, I just want to have fancy furniture. I just want to have that up and running. So we can build this. Hey, can anybody build my fence over here? Hello? We're just gonna have to close our eyes, all right? And imagine that the house is here. I was thinking like something like this. Tons of bushes, tons of ponds and just decoration and having a beautiful road leading up to it. I tried using those, um, what you gonna call them? Uh, no, mm -mm, that's not what you call them. The garden beds, but uh, well, I was like, okay, I'm gonna plant a tree in the middle, but uh, since this is just a tune with path, nah. It was not in the middle. So that kind of sucked a little bit. But this is what I had in mind at least. Let me just get some extra bamboos in here. It's going to take a while for them to kind of make them. But it's going to look super snazzy. Oh, that's going to be so good looking. Coming from here, going all the way through here and the beautiful house here. It's not super beautiful, I guess, but it's, it's a house. Damn, look at those. The tobacco plants. Absolutely beautiful. The hemp is a little bit... Mm, maybe we should change that for an orchard of some type, like apple trees or what? Maybe not. Maybe not. What type of crops do we have? Oranges, for example. Apricots even. But oranges do not look too shabby. Just to make this place a little bit more bushy, if you know what I mean. However, that is going to do it. That is going to conclude today's episode. I'm not feeling very well, as you can maybe hear. And uh, it's been a few hours in this game. And uh, my mind is going cray-cray. But uh, damn. Some great off-camera progress today, all right? That is just because I'm sick. Sometimes I, I, I'm not going to do that much because there's just, just no time for it. But dude, step up your game. Crap, the hardwood. I remember previous season. We struggled with that quite a bit. Two. No, no, mm -mm, no hardwood. This guy is not getting any hardwood. <laughs> Alright, well, time will tell. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys think this looks nice. I know it's a big rectangle of, of some type, but, well. It, yeah. Problem is, I can't delete those, those storages over here. I can't delete them, so we're pretty much stuck with this wall now. If we just, well, we could just remove the wall, but I have just wall storage is left and that's gonna look like really really crap so it is what it is everybody until the next episode but uh yeah it's a, it's a shame we can't get to see this because i think that's gonna look really really nice but time, time will tell time will tell did i say goodbyes i i think i did did i and i'm still here what the crap is going on i'm just placing bushes and stuff because I think this is going to look really nice. Just covering the, the path a little bit. And the cool thing about the picket fence is in ghost mode is that we could actually make use of the space now. Like placing stuff on it. Like this. Oh man, that is so nice. Nice looking. Everybody, until the next episode. Smash the like button. Might not be one tomorrow. Because as you can hear, I'm feeling very crap. But uh, it's going to be in a few days at least. Smack the like button. Have a very nice day, Kerales. Over and out. Bye bye.